let's talk about spins. A spin occurs when both wings stall, and in some cases, one wing stalling before the other. An aircraft will spin only after it is stalled and will continue to spin as long as the outside wing continues to provide more lift than the inside wing and the aircraft remains stalled. As an airplane's wing increases past the critical angle of attack, the wings will stall. Lift will not be generated. However, if an airplane begins to roll or yaw towards a wing that is in a greater stalled condition, one wing has stalled before the other. This starts a rotation or a turn in the direction of the stalled wing. A spin has now been entered. Well, you have to remember, uh, a spin happens only when there's a stall and a yawing moment. So, uh, to get into a spin, you have to have all of the signs of a stall that you would probably be accustomed to, such as the, the sound of the air flowing over the airplane changes because you're going slower. Uh, the controls get a little bit sloppy. They don't respond as crisply as they did at uh, normal cruising speed. All those normal signs you've learned about in, uh, as being part of a stall happen before a spin, but the big difference is usually because the airplane is in a yaw, the stall is much more abrupt, happens much faster, and you'll typically feel a wing drop, either the left or the right, and so you'll feel what feels like a roll, it's really a consequence of the yaw, but the airplane suddenly, the wing drops, the nose pitches down, and it's a much faster a more aggressive uh, type feeling than you, or reaction of the airplane than you would in a normal training stall. Okay. As the spin becomes fully developed, its path resembles a spiral turn as the plane rapidly descends. Now you can stop a spin by reducing the angle of attack. This in turn allows the wings to start producing lift again. Well, I think, again, you have to distinguish between an incipient spin, that departure that I just talked about, and a fully developed spin. It's kind of hard to get into an unintentional, fully developed spin. Um, so uh, most of the stall spin accidents you hear about are these departures, these, these incipient spins. And as long as you haven't gone more than about one full rotation, uh, again, just breaking that stall, uh, uh, reducing the power so you're not driving towards the ground, breaking that stall, Getting the airplane flying again will really help. You get control of the airplane and you can climb away then. If you're in a fully developed spin, however, uh, things are a little bit different. The airplane has had a chance to stabilize. It's rotating. It's coming down at a very steep uh, angle. Uh, airspeed is very slow. So uh, what you want to do is make sure that the classic recovery technique, which works well in almost any airplane, power to idle. Adding power doesn't help things at this point. Aileron's neutral. You don't want to be sort of fighting the airplane or trying to get out of what you think is a roll by applying opposite uh, ailerons. So just neutralize the ailerons. Then apply full rudder against the uh, direction of rotation. So if you're rotating to the left, spinning to the left, you push that right rudder all the way to the floor and hold it there until the rotation starts to slow down. And then as the rotation slows down and stops, then stick forward to break the stall and get the wing flying again.